Hey, so you have probably used Google Maps and also you most probably have noticed those color-coded roads on the map itself which indicates how much traffic is present in that current area at that point of time. So in this short video, I'll try to explain how Google's live traffic feature works and how Google pulls off this massive program using a technique called crowdsourcing. Let's get started. Traffic originally started with historical traffic data where Google would use historical traffic data of an area to predict how much traffic there would be at any point in the day or any point in the week. As you can already guess, this wasn't a very accurate process. So in 2007, as Android grew in popularity and more and more people started owning smartphones, Google started using a technique called crowdsourcing where they studied the location of the phones on the road to calculate how many phones were there on the road and how fast these phones were moving to calculate the traffic in that area. Combined with crowdsourcing data, Google also started calculating your average signal delay between your phone and the nearby three cell towers to get a more accurate hold of your position and your movement. So besides all the live traffic data, it also gives you notifications about accidents, closure of roads due to construction work or diversion of traffic due to other factors. All this information comes from an app called Waze which Google acquired in 2013. So Waze is also a crowdsourcing based app where users can report accidents and construction works at any other road blockages or reroutings which Google incorporates into the Google Map. While Waze still exists as an independent app, most of its data is now integrated into the Google Maps live traffic feature. Besides all that information, Google also takes information from local government authorities that are responsible for the transportation department. This especially helps in long time road closures for like you know, for local festivities or for construction of public utilities etc. So all these data sources are seamlessly combined by Google Maps to provide you with the live traffic feature that we have all grown to love and it makes our daily lives more convenient. So that's pretty much it from this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I post three amazing videos every week and I would very much like if you can drop a comment down below with your thoughts and suggestions. As always, thank you guys for staying till the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.